Disclaimer. The following video is part of a playthrough that contains these heavy topics. Viewing it is at your own risk. And with this, your discretion is advised. Hey, I brought tickets to the new trailer. Abby. Rose. That's better. I bet the movie sucks. Yeah, it should be hilarious. Rusting Central Time. What happened? Nothing much. Isla wants to ruin my show. And she's obsessed with murdering me. Just like everyone in this godforsaken place. Everybody wants to murder you, but you but they can't because you're dead. You, you have a lot of of clothes to possess. Are you rapid? Vincent smiles at me. I know what that feels like. White is truly a cruel color. Uh, oh, well. See, see you in the heavenly kingdom. See you. Hey, Vince. You don't have to do this. Why become a god of some unknown place? <clears throat> when you're the god of my world already. Don't you know that space is empty? Don't you know that nothing exists beyond this world? Then it occurs to me that maybe he doesn't believe in anything. That maybe he made up that story just to convince himself it's going to be okay. And maybe all he wanted was to... Vincent, let's go of my hand. Wait. Too late. I lose my balance and lean forward a little. Fear overwhelms me. In a far, far away land. Lift the quiet God. He never uttered a single word. And lived his life in solitude. It was his creations. Who lumped together. And couldn't stop talking. He must be sad. Said the few. He must be suffering. Pondered some. He must be lonely. Claimed the many. But contrary to their beliefs. The quiet God was. Happy, surrounded by the comfortable silence, wandering in the space abyss. He pondered many things, like how could they endure all this noise? Or how could they use language not to connect, but to hurt each other? And how could they feel so alone? When they're surrounded by so many. And when the quiet god got tired, the darkness engulfed him and held him in its embrace. Without the word, as his followers cried, How cruel! How unforgiving he is! The quiet god slept. Can't you leave me alone already? No way I'm doing that. Not after what happened. It's getting harder to breathe all over again. Desperately gasp for air, trying to stay conscious. Trying to stay sane. All I see before me is Vincent's body. Human. Real. Mangled. On the ground. He's gone. 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 You really are a worthless child. And you meeting that person would be a bad influence on you. I should have protected you from him. It's you who might need a protection from your monster. Say, why won't you disappear? Scarlet Isaac obstructs my line of vision and cups my face in her wall in her hands. They're cold as ice. Hey, listen. I'm here because I'm the only one who can save you. Without me, you won't amount to anything. Do what I say and we'll be fine. Forget about this false god of yours and think of the person who has always been there for you. You know who I'm talking about, don't you? I cover my ears and try not to scream. Okay, we just go 500 days, nearly 100 days forward.
Anne reads on her phone, absorbed in social networks with nothing out of the ordinary. Haha, <laughs> look, the drama I sent you yesterday. Oh my god, this really blew up. Right? That's, that's mob mentality for you. You meant what up? Our laws are strained. Unnatural. We sit in silence for a while. Um, listen, I know it might be not the time for it, but there's something I haven't told you yet. What is it? We're moving to another town next month. Believe me, I try to talk to my parents, but they never listen. Oh, is it far from here? Around six hours by bus. I see. So you're leaving too, huh? This means the end of our play pretend relationship. You know, Charlie? I wish I could go far, far away from here. From my asshole brother, my parents, the girl groups I'm in. I'm so tired. Tired, tired, tired. That's all you ever say. How the world's unfair. How everyone's unfair. It's not my fault. Boo hoo. I'm sick and tired of your complaining. I've never met your shut in brother to begin with. He could be a corpse for all I know. Dolly? Henry? I know. Why don't we run away together? Huh? Are you for real? Yeah, I'm serious. Well, I can book a hotel. Mm hmm. Let's skip school tomorrow, alright? Thus, we set out on a journey. Wow, this bed is so comfy. <laughs> hey, don't chop on it too much. I know, I know. So, where will we go from here? Oh, I took care of that. Just a moment. Bring out the pack of pills and hand it to Ari. Here. There's enough for two. What is? You. I need to throw the pack into my face. You idiot! She's in front of me in a second. Hitting me relentlessly with her small fists. Making me take a step backward with every hit. Wait. What? Is Barrow? Doesn't back down. Landing a punch after another. We tumble down to the floor. Ow, ow. So this is what you meant by running away? Ending your own life? Really? God. You're just like everyone else. Leaving me. What are you talking about? Aren't you the one who... The one who won? It's not like we'll cease all contact after I move. God, I really do hate you. My tears fall down freely, staining my sweater. All you ever do lately is talk about gods and trials and afterlife and all that BS. All you ever talk about is him. What happened to living for your mother? Are you lying that time? Henry, I... Shut up and listen, Eiler. I accept you for who you are. All of you. Your mother may be broken beyond repair, but she loves you too. We both need you. Yet, you're throwing your life away like that? What do you know? I didn't plan to live longer than mother will to begin with, I don't say. All matter mother cares about is Scarlet. It's her who should have been born instead of me. Henri slaps my face. Don't say things like that. Not when... When... When I... When you... You haven't even finished your story. I look forward to it every week, you know? Ah. The puzzle pieces start to fall into place. I'm recalling her hair to match mine. The constant messaging. Break relationship. Henry is a liar. Henry is here. Henry cares. It's getting harder to breathe. Henry is crying. Eyes are dry. Listen. Repeat after me. It's not my fault. Why should I lie to myself? Just do it. God damn it. It's not my fault. Satisfied? It's not my fault. 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 Henry kisses me. Oh. Feel like vomiting. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. 
keep repeating it like a mantra over and over. Surprisingly, I feel myself calm down a little. Then a thought occurs to me. Maybe this is how Henri calms herself down all the time. It's just that she would never tell anyone. We lie on the floor for a long time. I prefer one day if it's properly vacuumed. Want to talk to him again? I know. He never finished Ether L main Manning. You know? Main character was reborn multiple times trying to save the White Queen, but something always went wrong. We had to let her go. Will I ever be able to let go? I don't know. Decide it for yourself. Ah. Alright, I'm dumping you. Oh? If you want to die this much, go on and do it. Henry doesn't care. Just make sure I never learn about it. You can't uh, contradicting yourself, Miss Warhol. Jeez. When I'm dating someone for real, I want it to be a cute girl. Like Charlotte? Ah, shut it. But she's the cutest. Yeah, yeah. When I meet her, I'm calling her out on being as delusional as you are. Mm -hmm. Henry's such a bully. I hug her tightly. It might as well be the last hug we share. Thank you. I mean it. I'm sorry I couldn't accept your feelings. Packed our things and returned home the next morning. The next month, Henry's family moved to another town. Like they initially planned. A year and a half after, we stopped talking to each other. All ended well. There was nothing to be sad about. Once upon a time, in a far, far away land, lived the skin princess. You? Every day she changed her skin. Ugh. You appear in the best light. To every single person she met. Every night she ripped her skin off. Ow. Crying from the unbearable pain it caused her. Yes, understandable. Whispering. Not my fault. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. Over and over. Still did she know. That all the people in her kingdom. Were blind to begin with. Oh. Okay. Mom. Mother. It's, a mor it's morning already. Mother. Are you? No way. Not. You too. It'd be easier if my mom was a workaholic who was never home. It'd be easier if we hated each other. It'd be easier if, it, uh, if I didn't remember the days when she was still full of energy. Who would want to admit their parent giving up on life and slowly rotting in the bedroom? Who would admit the th to thinking of their only parent as a parasitic existence? After that day, nothing was the same anymore. Charles Isler? Can you solve this problem, Mr. Isler? I rushed out of the class straight to the bathroom stall. The voices of my classmates follow me. Huh. Huh. I vomit into the toilet. A morning's breakfast spilling down the drain. Gross. Understand. That moment I realized I could never touch a human being ever again. Only your face remained unchanged. White. Daryl. Free of contagious parasites. Vincent. I want to become Colleen too. I want to ascend and become white like you. What in the world should I do to wash this filth off? Ah. You knew it all along, didn't you? It was this simple. Ah. 
They stood until the trial. Okay, good. The trial is happening, and I am not ready because I'm currently a scared, confused, and what? I'm not pressing anything. I'm not touching anything. What the fish? That. But an entire ocean will it be enough to wash all the ink off me, I wonder. In the end, I couldn't replace Scarlet. Couldn't help the bullied one. Couldn't choose Arnie. Couldn't bring Mother back. In the end, and I achieved nothing. I didn't amount to, to anything. I failed the trial. If there is afterlife, I don't want to be the protagonist. Someone like Charlotte would be more fitting for the spotlight. In the end, my story wasn't about overcoming hardships. It was a story of giving up. Your Scarlet Isla crawled behind my back. You're giving up on your life? Seriously. I thought you were. Stop being childish and return home. I cover my ears. Stop pitying yourself. You're not trying hard enough. Shut up, you monster. You're not even my sister. All you are is but an ugly reflection of my own self. A cancerous tumor on my mind. Hey, listen to me. Turn back this very moment. Her voice is so loud, so loud. Or the deep I think. The quieter it gets. So I sank and choked and gasped prayer and felt my lungs explode. There was nothing to be said about. All ended well, didn't it? Yes, I would like to save it. Eiler, Scarlet, Eiler. Wake up, sleepy head. Charles? That's me. Are you surprised? I, where have you been? I looked everywhere for you. All this time. And you look younger. Why? Wait, wait, wait. One question at a time. First of all, I've always been here. It's the universe of my mind after all. Second, I can change shape and form however I want in this place. You what? Don't you remember? We drowned and died. Then boom. A universe was born. A universe? I'm afraid I... Come on, honest student. This concept isn't that hard to group. Grasp. Okay, so you want to tell me that the that, 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 Hello Charlotte, Charlotte series is basically a person died and created the, the game universe because of it. That is genius. I hate it, but it's genius. Look, the evidence of it is that you're no longer a topper. You're your own person now, aren't you? Oh, well, yes, you're right. It definitely is strange. Since when did he become so confident in himself? Oh, so much time has passed since we got separated. Is that there's a lot of to, that I don't know yet. Yes, you've been in the dark this whole time, haven't you? Don't worry, I'll tell you everything. All the secrets, all the hidden facts, the very truth of this world. You might want to keep a channel for that, you know? But why now? Where, where were you hiding all this time? Why? I wasn't hiding. It's just that I was afraid of approaching you. I'm sorry. Ah. That's why I did terrible things to him. I was so scared of you all this time. But I'm over it now, huh? Besides, you're not that Scarlet Isler anymore, are you? Right. I wanted to probably apologize to you ever since I woke up in this world. It's okay, it's okay. No need to be to bow your head. I was the one who was acting stupid and selfish all this time. You know? When we became separated, I understood that you were always right. Huh? 
To tell you the truth, I'm at a complete loss. So I came to ask for your help. What happened? You see, the current reality is that this world is on the verge of collapse. What? Why? I suppose you're acquainted, acquainted with Charlotte Wolfshire. I am. What about her? She's the one who's corrupting this world. I was unhappy because of her. She's the one in charge of the public executions occurring on a daily basis. She's the reason why so many students come its end, end life and get sick with the contagious disease known as the white flu. She's dangerous, psychotic, childish, killing just for the fun of it. And it pains me to see my creations in agony. After all, they all are a part of me. But even though I'm the god of this world, I am but a mere observer. I can't do anything against her. But I can. Is that what you're trying to say? It's just that I have no one to turn to. I'm sorry for being so useless. Leave it to me. What should I do? Oh, that's easy. All you need is to sabotage her story. Huh? Listen, the reason why Charlotte Wiltshire acts like this is because she is constantly f because she constantly feels paranoid of her audience. She despises interactive storytelling and doesn't want the puppeteer to play. That's why your target should be the audience and not just Wiltshire herself. Oh, so what? After all, she's nothing but the mere puppet. Obey a self-aware one. Puppet's audience, just what is happening in this place? But what can I do? That's easy. You have the memories of our past, don't you? I do. Then show them to our puppeteer. Were they to learn that the truth of this world it was this pathetic? I mean, yeah. They'd stop supporting this story and leave on their own. And as a consequence, Charles Rochelle will stop hurting others. Genius, isn't it? I can rely on you, right? Of course. Leave everything to me. I'll make everything right. And that's how the story went on. After what feels like an eternity... I open my eyes again. The vivid imagery of Charles past is still clouding my eyes. The growing nausea is becoming too overwhelming to bear. Where am I? Ah, this must be the white society room. Oh, the irony. More importantly, the camera's on. You're awake, huh? Either. It's time for the show to start soon. And you're the star. Ah. I see. And I must be planning to execute me publicly in order to make an example out of me. This is her way of becoming everyone's savior. Ugh, this is the end of you, Wilshire. You don't won't plague this world anymore, Alan Gonga. Huh? Huh? Just kidding. You must be thinking you've won Scarlet Island. But you're wrong. I went along with the flow because I wanted to. You know, just never shared these memories with me. Even though I thought we were friends. But now I know what he's been hiding. You've been a great help. Thank you very much. And guess what? I'm certain now. That you deserve a fate worse than death. But you're the abuser here. You're childishly cruel and psychotic. It's you who should pay for your sins. I am saving this world from you, Miss Island. If this place is made exclusively out of Charles Island's soul data, the damage I cause is limited to this mind space and consists entirely of Island's thoughts and experiences. I am no more than a puppet with a customizable body and soul. I was born to kill and be killed for once entertainment, all for the sake of making a story. How are you? You're a monster. Nonsense. Are you saying nothing can't if it's fiction? 
I want to say something, but I know uh, we are so not having this discussion. I'm saying you should stop with the bullshit like saving and helping. Many were the reason everything became like this to begin with. Moreover, even after his death, you trampled on father's feelings and made a show out of him of his memories. That I cannot forgive. Huh? Not even the fact of you being his tulpa excuses your actions. What the fish is a tulpa? I I'm not his tulpa anymore. I just I just want to make everything right. No what? I don't care. You already ruined everything. If you really wanted to stop me, you should have put an end to this mass production of all Charlotte's in the house. But all you did was drug me, assault me, kill me, and make a laughing stock of the father. You called him worthless all the time, but you're the one who won't amount to anything. That's why I use mother's power. The ropes fall off and my wounds get healed in no time. What? Even if there's no free will in this world. Even if there's a parasite controlling our minds. Those things don't really matter. All I want is to end this once and for all. This is my wish. Look at you. Scared shitless. What the? Here's some Charlotte trivia. Each one of us has a part of mother inside our bodies. And guess what? Mother is this world's true God. He's the one in control of everything. He bestowed each and every child with a gift. A power that can grant a single wish. A power so spectacular that it's only fitting for a story ending. And I used it just now. This is ridiculous. But, there, but that's how it is. And now you get what's coming for you. Uh-oh. I know what I should do. What are you... Uh, whoops. You failed from the very start. First rookie mistake, underestimating your enemy. You thought I was stupid, didn't you? Well, of course, you think everyone's more stupid than you. You thought this side character like you would have a chance against the protagonist? You I made you, you, you idiot. Uh. Charlotte looks at you. Want to hear a secret, darling puppeteer? I was aware of your presence all this time. Oh, okay. Although, if you reloaded the game, you know that already, don't you? I wasn't really hiding it. But did you really think you could fool me? Although, you're probably here just to watch, so I can't blame you. Oh, oh. I wonder if you're not actually playing the game, but watching someone stream it instead. Okay, Monica, you have some inspiration in here, it seems. Come on. I mean, come on. Did I say anything else? Is this your stick there? The only difference is there is no jump scare happening. <laughs> I hope. If that's you, you're a pretty lazy person, aren't you? Yeah, that's the also count to people who watch the videos. Because technically it's the same. You aren't even worthy of being called a pup my puppeteer. Hey, 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 come out! It's what a person who cared about that would say. <laughs> Besides, you might be not a... Well, you might be not a Windows owner to begin with. X way way ah. and it's all our fault we're deeply sorry for the inconvenience however whether we are alone or not i won't be the one to feed your ego leave that to the other puppets speaking of puppets want you back for your life oh it spits on my face go to hell lonely pest Okay then, we'll be back in a second.
Um. Oh. Yay, I don't like this too. Hello, dear friends. So sorry. Our previous show ended on a sorry note. I make it up to you by making today's show the most spectacular show ever. Meet this week's special guest, Scarlet Idler. She's the reason none of you want to get up in the morning. She's the reason you don't get good marks in class, aside from the obvious faulty education system. She's the reason for everything bad that happened in your lives. Also, my god, the music. The music is... Am I biased or am I biased? Or race? Who cares? She's the ultimate scapegoat we will ever have in this place. I almost feel bad that today's show will have to end. But no time for that. In today's shows, we will make a puppet. So exciting. We will need Scarlet and Isler and Shine Blender. Why? First, we will need to take Scarlet Isler. And put her into a blender. Now add some mint essence, a fully lolita dress, some spit, and push the button. And voila! Here you go! A splendid puppet. This is what happens when you become tainted with ugly colors. I'm sure you do wonder how well this hip of me will burn. Let's leave that for the next time we're on air. Thank you for watching. Stay white with us. Ooh. Well then, that's done. Oh wait, this is Ollie. I stumble and fall, unable to keep my balance. I feel sick. There's no strength in my limbs. I feel numb and foreign. <laughs> Too bad. I wasted my wish on that idiot. If you get your wish granted, you're still brilliant immediately. Didn't I warn you? Charles would say. In the end, I couldn't stay white, huh? Your first steps. It's of course him. Looks like it's the end of your story, isn't it? Unit Q84. Mother network power overuse, drug side effects. Everyone wanting you dead. All of that must have sped up the process, huh? I laugh bitterly. It sounds borderline hysterical. Too bad your body and soul have an expiration date. Soon to be deleted and disposed of. How was it in the commercials? A new story, a new Charlotte. In this brand new installment, what kind of girl will she be? I'll stab you. <laughs> so dangerous. Charles lifts me up from the floor. The embrace is gentle, as if he's holding something fragile. Disgusting. I miss you, you know. Mother never sets your intelligence parameters too high most of the time. Because of that, I've spoiled you too much. You know, far more than the other puppets. That's right. You never shut your mouth. Guilty as judge. I'll be with you in your last moments, Miss Protagonist. Ugh. Are you afraid of death, Miss Wilshire? No. But you know, after you told me about the nature of the house, I couldn't stop thinking that everything is ultimately, hopelessly, meaningless. That's when I thought, why play nice if I'm just a disposable asset? Why forge relationships with NPCs? Why care? It's a matter of minutes until my soul cube self-destructs. Everything is pointless and it's all your fault. I know. I try to come up with a witty comeback. Well, all that comes out is gibberish. Uh-oh. Looks like it'd be better if you didn't try to speak right now. I'll be okay, Miss Wolfshire. 
What in the world is he talking about? Just what is going to be okay? Feeling the last bits of strength leaving me, I lean on Charles. As much as I wonder, want to smash his head against the floor right now. Having someone to lean on doesn't feel so bad. I close my eyes and try not to think of anything. Looks like it's the end of my story. Looks like it's really is the end of her. You? You? Shouldn't it be father? Oh. But no, it doesn't matter right now. U84G. Is there is there really nothing I can do? Oh, how cute. Tiny God's favorite doll just broke. The only pure white one became contaminated in the end. A pity, isn't it? Please. Can can you save her? <laughs> I'm afraid there's nothing I can do at this point. Look at her, she's decomposing. When you're supposed to have Miss Sophia. Um, what name what name? Although I can see how much you want to throw up right now. Make sure to take a shower after this, okay? Shut up. As for the alternatives, there's a story where Charlotte also became self-aware. Oh, baby, without your guidance. Coincidentally, this is the story, uh, the story I and the puppeteer are going to experience soon. Want me to get you that puppet as a replacement? No. Hi, Selena. It won't, won't be... Also, we are welcome to probably the end of um, a horror, psychological horror game that is too, that is too complicated to explain. Like, I thought it was easy, but now it's more like it's 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 an old universe that they got created by a guy who died, and in there you, you, this puppet tries to. Make everything good, but sadly, then out of reason because she got too corrupted. He, this person, recreated himself in this in on in his own universe, and basically tried to fix it. I think <laughs> that's the whole thing. And yeah, well, there's another option too. You see, the player has to save us of his. This puppet soul tape up. So you can try loading them into a Charlotte vessel. But it will be seen as an error by Mother's Network, so I wouldn't recommend it. Unless it's a defective vessel, of course. Oh, I know. How about we use a Vincent vessel for her? Those are uh, <clears throat> hopelessly and on life. Well, anyway, so it's a win win situation. Solution. No. You kill me for it. I'm pretty sure all the Charlottes are pre deposed to be fascinated with him, though. He was different. He was different. Ah, uh, was she really? Well, in any case, I'll leave you to it. I have an audience to entertain. It would be a waste if the story ended here after all. I what? What? It's not the end. Quite a special item. Seize observation. Save your puppet soldier. Yes. Yo. There's not much left to do in this space, so we'll be leaving it shortly. So you may have noticed this child that wasn't the child you wanted to save. How did you actually like her more than the Charlotte Bruchard you've been with so long? Just like I thought, the Charlotte you met first is the one who matters the most. Oh, aren't you alone? Must have many questions as to why have I led you to this particular story to begin with. Yeah, but do believe me, it's vital to understanding everything that will happen from now on. You surely didn't think that we were going to travel in time and change the outcome of prior events, did you? 
Because if you did, that would be rather unfortunate. After all, like I've said before, there's no such thing as rewinding time in the house. One story ends, a new one begins. It's an endless cycle of life. You know how it goes with games. You can always start a new one. Not in a new story, please activate it manually from the bottom menu. Ah. So basically you say to you I can just go you can plus now Well let me tell you want to you want to play the thing game I will say no <laughs> Jesus Christ this is game <laughs> But yeah that was Shallow Charlotte the trilogy And again I only have to say it is terrifying and I have and I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know what to say now.